Early in our marriage, like most couples, my wife and I had to be pretty resourceful. So we'd go out and find furniture that I could redo and refinish. The problem was, is that I had a limited number of tools. So no matter how grand the vision I had of what this thing could look like, I had a limited ability to bring that into reality. Now, a few Christmases and a few birthdays, I added to my tool set. And what I came to discover over time was that having the right tools makes all the difference in the world. I began to realize that with the right tools, I could take something that looked one way and make it look like something else. Now, it's been my experience that, that sort of life mirrors that, uh, especially when people find themselves in places of brokenness, hurt, and pain. I, I've come to realize that, that many of us have good intentions and we have a lot of independence and so we want to say to ourselves, I'm going to get through this, I'm going to work through this, I'm going to make this happen. But the problem is we have a limited number of tools. Now there's an old saying that says, if you think what you've always thought, you're going to do what you've always done. And if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. And I find that to be the case with a lot of folks as they work through their pain and their struggles. Is that with their limited number of tools, there's only so much they can accomplish. Uh, and I found that to be no more real than in the areas of grief and divorce. Without a doubt, losing a loved one is a life-changing moment when you have to learn new normals. At the same time, you're dealing with the heartache and the pain of love lost, of this one that you've cared for and, and looked after and who has looked after you for years uh, to all of a sudden be gone. And without a doubt, the loss of love, when your love falls apart, when the one you have stood in front of God and said, I'm going to be with this one for the rest of my life. When that ends, it is traumatic and it's painful and it leaves wounds that cut deep. And with a limited set of tools, you're only going to get so far. But what if I told you that God has a grand vision for healing and wholeness in your life? And with the right set of tools, that can become a possibility. Here at ECN, we're making healing a priority. We have now launched two programs, Grief Share and Divorce Care. Both of these programs will begin after the first of the year on Monday night, January 6th. They'll happen at 6.30, then they'll happen simultaneously. Now every one of the lessons in this program, it's a 13 week series, both for grief and divorce care. Uh, all of these lessons are self-contained, so if you have to miss a week, it's no big deal. You can come back the next week, and any tools you can add to your belt is a win, right? And so we want to help you out with that. During the holidays, we're going to help you as well. Tomorrow morning, Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m., we're going to offer a class where, where you can work through surviving the holidays with grief. On Tuesday night, the 10th, at 7 p.m. here at the church, we're going to offer a class on how you can survive the holidays with grief. On Thursday night, December the 12th, at 7 o'clock, we're going to offer a class how to survive the holidays with divorce. See, we're committed to believing that what God desires from your life is so much more than you could ever hope for or anticipate, and that with the right tools in your belt, you can begin to make your way forward into the grand vision that God has for your life, and into the grand vision of the possibilities that you have for your life, and to move forward in wholeness and in healing.